Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Bridge Bhushan Mistra. I am making a series of videos on garbage collector and this is fourth part of the series. I will advise you to watch the earlier parts of the series and then continue watching this video. In last video, we discussed about the finalization and its necessity. But how does it work internally? Actually, garbage collector maintains two other data structures. First, finalization queue and second, a reachable queue. So let's discuss the use of these two data structures. So whenever we create an object of a class, it is created in the heap and if its type has finalized implemented, then a pointer to that object also goes in finalization queue. Let's create an object of a class and assume that it has finalized method implemented. When the object creation statement executes, object is created in the heap and a pointer to that object is also maintained in finalization queue. So at any point when many objects are in the heap and at the same time few of the objects pointer also placed in finalization queue. As already said, only object type which has finalized implemented gets a place in finalization queue. Here we have 12 objects a to L in managed heap and only 5 A, E, G, I, K are in finalization queue. When the garbage collector runs and it finds that objects C, E, F, G, I, K are garbage and available for collection. Now garbage collector scans the finalization queue and checks the pointer for those objects which are marked for collection. So once it finds an object pointer, then move it to the another queue that is F reachable queue. Similarly, all the objects that are marked as garbage, their object pointer is moved to F reachable queue from finalization queue. And the objects which has not finalized method implemented are collected. Every object pointer in the F reachable queue points to that object that is ready for finalization and finalized method is ready to be called. After the collection process, the objects C and F got collected. But G, I, K could not be collected due to its finalized method. But they moved to F reachable queue from finalization queue. Once the object pointer are moved to F reachable queue, it is not considered as garbage. Here C, I, K are now reachable from F reachable queue. Now the next question is, how the object that gets a place in F reachable queue gets collected. So for that there is another special thread that is assigned for this task to call finalized methods. This thread scans F reachable queue and call the finalized methods for each object that is available in this F reachable queue. If F reachable queue is empty then this thread goes in the sleep mode but when entry appears again it wakes up and does its job and non-garbage objects are moved and space is compacted. This special thread runs and calls the finalized method of objects G, I, K and remove their entry from F reachable queue. Now the objects G, I and K has no entry in either finalization queue or the F reachable queue. Now next time when GC runs, it considers objects G, I, K as garbage and freeze that memory. In this way, the whole finalization works internally. To connect me, you can go and subscribe my blog codewala.net. Follow me on Twitter at code underscore walla. You can also jot down my mail ID. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video.